This video will show you how to set up parallel processing in FL Studio. This technique can be used for all kinds of effects. People have been asking me for a parallel compression tutorial, so in this example, we're going to be doing some parallel compression. This is a Firewalk production. If you don't know what parallel processing or parallel compression is, then I suggest you check out my other video explaining what this is and why we use it. You can find the link for it in the description. This tutorial will focus on how to set it up, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is import a drum loop. I want to compress it to bring up the lows and make it a bit punchier, but I don't want to lose the transients. I want it to be crisp, clear, and punchy at the same time. To achieve this, we'll use parallel processing. Route the drums to mixer insert number one and give it a name. Next, disconnect it from the master by clicking here. We're now going to route the signal to two additional tracks. In order to send the signal from one track to the other, click here and here to route it to both tracks. Now you can see the virtual cables appearing, indicating that the signal goes from track one to track two and three. Track two and three is sending the signal to the master. Let's bring down the volume a bit. Select track two and name it drum loop dry. Then select track three and name it drum loop wet. Next, select track 3 and add a compressor. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using the Fruity compressor for this. Let's quickly apply some compression to fatten up the drums. I'll mute the dry track so that we can focus on the one with the compressor on it. As you can hear, the compressor is now affecting the sound. It becomes punchier, but at the same time, it has lost some of its transients. The dry one, on the other hand, still retains all its transients, so let's enable it again. We can now adjust the volume on these two tracks to get it sounding exactly as we want. If we want it punchier, we can increase the volume on the track with the compressor on it. Or we can lower the wet one and increase the dry one if we want more transients. Just play around with the volumes until you get the sound you're after. By doing it this way, we can get the best of both worlds. You can get the punchiness from the compressor while still retaining some dynamics. Note that in this tutorial, the dry and wet tracks go directly to the master. Typically, you want to set it up for several other elements as well. In that case, it would be better to route it from the dry and wet track directly to a submix instead of the master, and then from the submix to the master, like so. Last but not least, I'd like to add, many third-party plugins have a built-in wet-dry knob. This basically does the same thing as we just did, but much quicker. In some cases, you can also use the dry-wet knob on the mixer. But it doesn't always work properly with all plugins. Sometimes you'll end up with some weird PDC issues. There you have it. That's how you set up parallel processing in FL Studio. Is there any specific tutorial you'd like me to make? Or perhaps you have a question? Just leave me a comment below. I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, please like, share, and comment. I'm uploading new tutorials and templates every week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss out.